Uh, Josh Green here for Tunks and Tales. Delighted to be joined by Chris Doby. Chris, how you doing, mate? Not too bad, thanks. Good, good. Thanks for um, having us. Our pleasure. Um, World Championships on the horizon once again. We're a couple of weeks away. You've been there many times now. Um, is the feeling still the same as it's always been in the lead up to the Worlds? Yeah, it's still a buzz. Obviously, it's the one everybody everybody talks about. Even my friends and family back home just love it. Obviously, they spend Christmas time just watch, sitting watching the data. And like I said, it's it's what everybody speaks about. So it's it's still a buzz to me. And just to play on the biggest stage of them all is, is, is a great feeling. So I can't wait to be back up there. Mm. Is it a little bit different to any other tournament in the fact that you've got more and more people asking you about it, whether that be friends, family, or, or even people you don't know? Yeah, I think obviously it's it's different uh, to the, the others, definitely. But um, obviously, I, I go there with the, the same my mind, uh, same mindset, and what what I want to do, and hopefully I, I prepare the same as I do any other competition. I maybe put a, an extra few hours in, but uh, yeah, it's the big one, and everybody watches back home, so it's it's the one I'm more dedicated to as well. Mm. You have to. You've got to wait an awful long time for your first round game. I'm not sure how many days, but six, seven days yeah. of darts yeah, before, was, before you get there. It was the same last year, I think, as well. So it's yeah. uh, it's it's not the first time. So like I say, I'll, I'll be ready, and it gives me a little bit longer to to prepare for my match. Will you be watching the the day the previous days before you get on that stage? Of course, uh, I I love obviously. A few of the lads will tell you back home. Uh, if if I'm chilling in the house and the daughter's on, which I'm not in, I'll I'll stick it on the TV. I I like watching it, and um, it's just I prefer being there in the competition as well. So hopefully, uh, hopefully in the rest of them. I mean, looking at the draw and when it comes out, are you quite satisfied with what you've got? Obviously, Clear Mac or the Chinese qualifier at hand. We don't know much about Martin's form has been uh, up and down you would say yeah. you must look at that and think you've got a, a good chance yeah it's obviously if I play my game I've always got a, a decent enough chance it's just um, obviously Martin's a, a great player you've seen he, he beat Nathan last week in the, um, in the players championship so obviously everybody knows he can play and anybody that qualifies in for the world championship are there for a, for a reason, they're not just there to make the numbers up. They deserve their their place to be there. They've we've won something to qualify. So now nah, whoever, whoever comes out uh, the winner, I'll be ready for them. Mm. Just turn the clock back twelve months. Last year was a was an interesting one with, with the withdrawal of of Michael. He was preparing to play. Then you then got yeah. a buy through to the next round. What what was it all like last year? Because it felt like every player was was on edge. Yeah, it was it was a hard one to take because I was I was actually at the venue ready to prepare for my game with Michael and um I got told as I was having my practice on stage to be fair and obviously I was quite gutted in a way because I felt I felt pretty good up there and hmm. my game obviously it goes you never know I I I might not have won that match but. I was up for it and I would prefer to play them rather than get handed the, the game. But yeah, it was um it was a hard one, but like I said, um I I was in the next round and possibly should have won that round against Luke as well, which was a, mm-hmm. another hard one to take. Yeah, it was a, a cracking game with Luke there. Did did you have to stay in London all that time from uh, learning about Michael all the way until the, the game with Luke then? Yeah, I just stayed down. Obviously, once I came back down after Christmas, I stayed down until obviously after my after my match. And mm. like I say, I was a little bit disappointed. And I think I, I left home straight after the game. I was that good. Mm. So I, I, uh, my, my uncle drove, drove back home that night. Uh, um, You look at your World Championship record... There's plenty of fourth rounds on there. It's it's a pretty solid record, and most players would look at that and be be happy with with what they've achieved. How do you sort of look at it? And do you think there's a there's another step this year? 
Yeah, of course. Obviously, I want to break that uh, that barrier and get past the last sixteen. I think three or four times I've I've lost to mm. the likes of um, it was a Luke Gary does a, you know, it's it's mm. one of them, and they've, they've all been four three losers as well. So I've uh, I've came close and probably should have won the majority of those match. I've had my chances, yeah. but like I said, uh, it's just want to to build on and. Yeah. Hopefully, put that right this year and go a little bit further. And why not go yeah. go all the way? And the form you're in, I mean, court final and semi final towards the end of the year at the the Grand Prix, and then the the European Championships. This is some of the best form you've you've been in TV wise going into a Worlds. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm 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 happy with my game. I'm I'm pretty playing pretty consistently as well. Uh, decent enough averages playing well it's just if my score and finishing click together in the same game I'll uh, I'll be hard to beat but I'm going to keep practicing putting the time in and hopefully on the night uh, I'll come out on top Same lads as usual you're you're practicing with Callan Ryan who's obviously made it through that last chance qualifier Yeah it was good to see that obviously I spent a bit of time in my head with Ryan and obviously he was a bit down at not being in the world, and I said, I said to him, he, he's just the man for the qualifier. He lo- he loves qualifiers, and um, yeah, he went up there straight from Minehead to Barnsley, which is a long trek, and uh, he got the job done. So I was I was delighted for him, but uh, yeah, still obviously don't play any nights of the week where we Ryan this year, but maybe mm-hmm. again next year. I probably play on a Thursday night with Callan, so okay. yeah, I still have a decent enough for practice with them so mm. like I say I'm I, I'm happy to, to do my own thing at the minute and my game seems seems to be where where it should be and mm. hopefully that continues. Another man I'd like to ask you about is, is Glenn Durren you've had a, some great back and forth with Glenn over the last couple of years um, yeah. what happened for him in the last year 18 months sad to see him, him drop off yeah. Tour, really. Yeah 100% obviously I've spent a good few months with Glenn. Obviously, TV tournaments uh, last year and the year before, I spent a lot of time with him. And I've learned a lot from Glenn. And it is sad to to see the dip uh, in his game. But hopefully, I know how good he is and I know he can bounce back from that. So hopefully, a year or two out, uh, he'll get a bit of confidence back and uh, come back. He's, he's too good not to, to be on the top. Certainly is well going into Ali Pali as, as I said earlier, just a couple of weeks away now. What sort of aims do you set yourself going into that tournament? Um, obviously, I, I take each game as it comes, I don't look for, further than the first round. But hey, you, you've got to, I just want to better what I've done the previous year and just build on from there. Ho- hopefully, I want obviously everybody wants to be world champion and that, but. Let us say, take each game as it comes and hopefully better better last year's performance. Oh, lovely stuff, Chris. Really appreciate your time and uh, hopefully we'll see you down at Ali Pali. Yeah, you will do, mate. Thank you. Cheers.